This short video will show you how to quickly email an instructor or another student. So once you're logged into pause, you'll want to go to a specific class. Then once you're in that class, you're going to go to communication. And from the drop down menu, you're going to select class list. And on the class list, you'll see there's a few tabs across the top here. One is all, the other one's students, and the other one is faculty. And to quickly, if there are more than five or six students in the class, to quickly find the faculty member, you can just click on the faculty tab. And once on that screen, you're going to click the checkbox next to that faculty member's name, select email, and you're going to get this separate window where you can then type your message. And you can also change the subject line to be more pertinent to whatever your situation is. And you'll see that the instructor's name is already populated right there. And it's going to automatically send you an email so you don't have to put anything in the two. And once you have your email composed, you're just going to click on the Send button. And if you want to email a, a student, you can click on All or the Students tab. And you can either click Select Everybody and then unselect the librarian. You don't need to send an email to that person right now. <laughs> and then you can select email, or if you just want to pick a couple of people, you can then just click one or two other people on the class list. Then click email. They'll auto-populate in the blind copy area. Again, you can change the subject line if you need to. You're going to type your, your message, and then click send. And that's how to quickly email somebody in one of your classes. Thanks. To view an email, you can go one of two ways. You can select the envelope icon, and you'll notice that there is a little orange dot. That means that there are new emails that you haven't read yet waiting for you. If you're in a course, you're going to go to Communication, and then from the drop down menu, you're going to go to Email. And this should take you to your inbox. And anything that's not read yet should be bold. It should still be bold. And we are going to click on this email. And in the lower half is where you can reach your email. So make sure that you can see that this will let you maneuver it up and down. So if you don't see your email, make sure that you can pull this up so that then you can view your email. And something else I want to talk about is that the pause email system is self-contained within pause. You cannot email Yahoo, Gmail, southwest.tn.edu, or any other email. You can only email someone within the pause system. And a little earlier, I showed you how to do that by going to the class list. And also, you will see if you go to the a course homepage, over on the right hand side, there is a little widget for Office 365. You can log in to Office 365 here, but know that it's still a separate entity, they do not talk to each other. You can go to your email, your Office 365 email or Outlook email from within pause, but to um, email somebody in pause, you need to make sure that you come back to pause, go to the class list and either email them there. Because if you're outside of pause and say your Outlook, you cannot email somebody into pause. 
So there are two different entities. And the only caveat with this is if you are trying to upload an assignment to a folder, if you are logged in, or even if you're not logged in yet, you can, let's go to a folder. and we're going to add a file. This does give you the option to upload a file from your Office 365 OneDrive. So that's the only thing that Pause talks to with Office 365. Nothing else, they're all separate. So I hope that helps and if you have any questions, please put a ticket in and we will get to you as soon as we can. Thank you.